Hollywood is like a whale that swallows you up and spits you out if you can't cut through it fast enough and find your own way. For many, it built a life of fame and fortune unlike anything they've ever experienced. Once some celebrities have become accustomed to this lifestyle, there's no going back. Although when these same celebrities are no longer getting booked, it becomes clear that Hollywood never cared about them in the first place. Welcome to Top 10 Beyond the Screen, I'm your host Johnny Rogers, and before we kick this video off, let us know down below which actor from the 90s is your favorite and tell us why. Also, if you don't want to miss another daily video from us, make sure you tap that subscribe button and ring the notification notification bell. Plus make sure you stay all the way until the end of this video because I'll be reading out some of your comments as well. Now with any further delay, let's get right into today's list of the top 10 celebrities who were wronged by Hollywood. In at number 10, Aaron Carter. Back in the day, Nick Carter's little brother was a huge teen pop star. With his quick rise to fame at such a young age though, he had quickly squandered the $100 million fortune that he had built after his parents mismanaged his money. Because of this, he was put in a terrible situation when he turned 18. When he became of legal age, he was hit with a bevy of taxes owed and had to file for Chapter 7 bankruptcy after being over $100,000 in debt and knowing somewhere in the ballpark of, oh, $4 million in back taxes. Hollywood lifted Aaron Carter to a level of fame unlike anything else. He was huge before Bieber was even mentioned in the world of music. But unfortunately, when Hollywood was done with him, they just tossed him to the wolves. For years, Carter would create controversies with his ill-advised Twitter rants and outlandish claims that Michael Jackson was passing the torch down to him. In reality, the star was dealing with money issues, substance abuse, depression, and an ongoing battle to stay relevant. In at number 9, Pamela Anderson. Baywatch was one of the most watched TV shows of all time, and at the center was the young and vibrant Pamela Anderson. The show was watched by over a billion people around the world every single week. However, as the saying goes, all good things must come to an end and so did Baywatch. Once that attention started to dissipate, so did her asking power for more money on future projects. As the money dried up, Anderson was forced to live in a trailer park with her two sons because she couldn't keep up the payments on the multiple homes that she had purchased. Thanks to the issues with the IRS in 2012, two tax liens were made against her Malibu home which forbid her from selling it. The first lien stated that she owed nearly $260,000 in unpaid taxes from 2011 and the second lien was from the state of California that cited she owed them more than $100,000 for the same year. Not only that, but in 2009, she made the California Top 500 delinquent taxpayers list, owing the IRS $1.7 million in unpaid taxes. In at number 8, Brendan Fraser. When you think of Brendan Fraser, the first thing that comes to my mind is the Mummy Trilogy. At least, that's for me. Throughout the 1990s and into the early 2000s, Brendan was starring in many Hollywood box office films. Unfortunately, his movie career came to a halt when he began finding himself in and out of hospitals for nearly 7 years. Brendan had to undergo several spine surgeries as well as having a partial knee replacement. Then on top of all of that, he was getting repairs done on his vocal cords as well. He was known for being an energetic character in his action films, but with so many injuries and health problems, this posed a threat to the way that he made his money in Hollywood. After his divorce, his bank account was drained even further, and thanks to the way that the divorce system works in the US, his alimony payments were based on what he used to make. So he was then forced to pay over $900,000 a year in alimony payments even though it was more than his current annual income. In at number 7, Corey Haim. Sadly, I must start this point by saying rest in peace to Corey Haim. Corey was born in Toronto, Ontario and broke into the world of acting in 1984 as a child actor in the film called Moving In. His breakthrough role would come in 1987 when he played a major part in a movie called The Lost Boys. Although 10 years later he was filing for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection after citing that he owed over $200,000 in state and federal taxes. When he passed away in 2010 from pneumonia, he was living with his mother in an Oakwood apartment building. He was broke and his career was destitute, to the point where he was reportedly trying to sell a tooth and some of his hair on eBay just for the extra cash. In at number 6, Margot Kidder. First things first, rest in peace to Margot Kidder. She was the first famous Lois Lane starring in the early Christopher Reeve Superman films. According to Daily Finance, Margot was battling schizophrenia as well as manic depression. Margot knew something was wrong but repeatedly refused help and treatment. Her career started to fall apart because of this and before long she was sleeping in cardboard boxes in whatever LA backyard that she could find. A woman even found Margot in her backyard and said that upon approaching Kidder, she was missing her front teeth and her hair appeared to be hacked apart. When asked what she was doing there, Margot apparently told the Glendale resident, I may not look like it, but I'm Margot Kidder. In at number 5, Willie Ames. I genuinely feel awful for the lives that these child stars had to go through and Willie is no different. The former Gunsmoke star opened up during an interview in 2017 where he said that a series of poor choices mixed with drug abuse is what led to him sleeping on the streets. He said at one point I went from eating at the White House to sleeping in the bushes. During an episode of Oprah's Where Are They Now, we discovered that after battling addiction and homelessness, he got a job as a cruise ship director. At the peak of his career on the show 8 is Enough, Willie was making a little over a million dollars a year. Then suddenly, there was no more work, no bank account, no wife, no child, and just like that, it all faded away. Thankfully though, he looks like he's doing much better now working for the cruise ships. 
Although I'm not sure how that's going with the Rona times. In at number four, Johnny Depp. This one actually really hurts me. According to Rolling Stone's profile on the actor, Depp had made $650 million on films that netted $3.6 billion, and now almost all of that money is gone. Some of it is partly Depp's fault for spending a lot of it on an island and other ridiculous things. However, Johnny believes that most of his money was lost due to poor management. He is now suing the management group that is run by his longtime business manager as well as his brother Robert for negligence. The lawsuit says that under his management's watch, his sister was given $7 million in debt. Depp's assistant was given $750,000, all without his knowledge. On top of this legal trouble, Amber Heard had accused him of abuse, which ended up shattering any hope of acting in future projects. Although, thankfully, a leaked tape has cleared Depp of any wrongdoing, but it's still going to take him a long time to work his way back to the top. In at number three, Wesley Snipes. Wesley Snipes is a prime example to bring up whenever someone tries to tell you that you don't need to pay your taxes, and boy, oh boy, did the IRS make an example out of him. The actor's portrayal of the vampire hunter Blade boosted his career into the stratosphere, although reportedly someone close to Wesley told him that taxation was theft and therefore he didn't need to pay anything to the government. He ended up listening to this friend and was charged after not filing proper tax returns for six years. Additionally, he filed fraudulent returns that would net him close to $12 million in tax refunds. By 2006, he was filing for bankruptcy and in 2008 he was sentenced to three years in prison for his crimes. You'd think an agent or a manager would have stepped in, but that's Hollywood for you. In at number two, Lindsay Lohan. Beginning as a child actor, Lindsay Lohan's breakout role started in the Disney 1998 remake of The Parent Trap. Later on in her career, she would get even more fame and notoriety for the success of Mean Girls. She seemed destined for long-term success and everyone in Hollywood really believed in her. Unfortunately, then all began to crumble as her spending habits increased rapidly and legal trouble started coming her way. At 18 years old, she was worth over $30 million and like many child stars, Lohan also started a terrible drug habit that was costing her nearly $5,000 a week. Then between 2007 and 2015, 13, she was arrested a few times for DUIs, reckless driving, altercations, and even shoplifting. Last but certainly not least in our number one spot, Gary Coleman. Again, before I start at this point, I must say rest in peace to the great Gary Coleman. Gary's story is one of the saddest stories in Hollywood. Gary Coleman was a child star that made $70,000 per episode for the show Different Strokes. In the 1980s, this was amazing money. Today, it's around $218,000 per episode. However, by 1986, the show had come to an end, and unfortunately for Gary, his adopted parents and business advisor had severely severely mismanaged his money. Eventually, he won in a settlement against his parents, but it wasn't enough to keep him going. He couldn't find work anymore in Hollywood, and in 1999, he filed for bankruptcy. Then to make matters worse for poor Gary Coleman, he got a job as a security guard, but just kept getting recognized and harassed for trying to live a normal life. With that though, let's check out some of your comments from the video titled, Top 10 Celebrities That Could Replace Ellen DeGeneres. Savannah Anderson says, Stay classy was my high school's motto, Johnny does it better. <laughs> I can't believe that was your high school motto. That is. Amazing. Local Gotcha says, I'm convinced Johnny has a poster that says stay classy somewhere. <laughs> I don't, but now I know what my next purchase is gonna be. Steve Tree says, Michelle Obama would be a great replacement for Ellen. I completely agree. It would be much better than just having her do a podcast or some Netflix documentary, that's for sure. Monkey Paws says, we don't want a replacement, we just want her show to end. Hey, fair enough. That being said, there is going to be a lot of out of work staff members, so I think that that's why they're looking for a replacement. Allegedly. Unicorn Bandit says, My favorite hobby is reading Johnny shirts. We need more shirts with words that don't make sense. <laughs> now, that is a great hobby, and hey, if they don't make sense to you, just ask me in those comments down below and I'll try to respond. Today's shirt is a merch piece that I got after watching the rapper Sun Real from Vancouver. It's from one of his first shows that I went to, and it's very special to me because I got the opportunity to actually sit down and chat with him for about an hour before the show even started. So keeping this forever. And that has been the top 10 celebrities who were wronged by Hollywood. Thank you so much for watching and thank you to our editors for all of their hard work. If you enjoyed this video, please show us some love here by tapping that like and subscribe button. Plus, don't forget to leave us a comment down below with your thoughts on today's list. And for more videos like this one, all you gotta do is tap that playlist when it pops up. From Top 10 Beyond the Screen, my name is Johnny Rogers and until next time, stay classy.